So what's good, homies? It's your man, King Ray Ray. Heading to the lake, man. So I wanted to come in here and drop some off right quick. Uh, I talked about a couple of things on the BOA show last night. I talked about a couple of things on the BOA show last night that I want to reiterate today. So hopefully y'all can enjoy this, man. Um, it's um, You have to protect yourself. You have to protect your spirit, man, from this society. You have to protect your spirit, man, from the things that go on in this society. And if you don't do that, then no one else will do it for you. You owe it to yourself to protect your spirit, man, in this society. You have to. So we're going to jump right into it, man. I'm kind of in a rush, but I wanted to come and drop this off, man, because I got into the topic last night, man. And that video is on Patreon right now, man. I'll leave a link in the description of this live stream. But I took a I took a left turn on that video and started talking about some of the ways to protect yourself from the influence of this society and becoming the type of man that you can't even be proud of. You understand? And none of us wants to be the type of man that we can't even be proud of. So famo salute SJ three salute rest of the homies in the building. Salute, man. We're going to, um, we're going to leave this chat open, man. Uh, cause I really need to be, I'm in a rush. I'm actually going to be running a little bit behind, man. So here's what you must understand. This is only for men who embrace a relationship with God. If you don't believe it, that there's a God or you think you think is a farce or, or you're atheist or whatever, man. OK, I get it. That's your choice. But this one isn't for you. You see, what we're talking about today is men who understand the value of creating a relationship with the most high. The protection that comes your way from creating that situation, the peace of mind that comes your way. And once you understand that peace of mind, you have to protect that peace of mind. But how do you do that? OK. The first thing is you have to stay in tune with the most high. What does tune mean? I don't mean praying and fast. I don't mean doing all of that. I mean, making sure you're in tune so you can understand the direction that the most high is sending you in. When God is sending you in a particular direction, you need to go to that direction. You need to be in that direction. You need to make sure that you can understand at that fork in the road, you understand the direction that God is sending you. Now, how do you do that? You have to eliminate what I call the the alpha blockers. You've heard of beta blockers in medicine. You have to you have to remove the alpha blockers. You have to look at those who are blocking your alpha energy, who are bringing negative energy to you, who are bringing any energy to you that doesn't benefit the process of your progress. So let's talk let's talk about some steps that you need to take in order to do that. First, you must avoid negative energy. It's real simple. Eliminating people from your life is not based on whether you like them or not. It's not based on whether you love them or not. It's not based on whether they love you or not. It's not based on what they've done in the past. It's based on whether they're bringing you negative energy right now. If there is someone in your life who's bringing you negative energy, you have to eliminate that person immediately. You don't give a person an opportunity to see if they're going to stop bringing you negative energy. You eliminate negative energy. So when I say eliminate people from your life, I don't really mean eliminating people. I mean eliminating energy. So if that person is attached to that negative energy in your life, you must eliminate that person from your life. You have to let them go because all you can do in an environment that's conducive to negative energy is be lost. You can't find anything positive that's meant for you in an environment that's conducive to negative energy and that's founded in negative energy you'll wake up 10 years later and realize man that your whole life is ruined why because you sat in an environment of, neg of negative energy and so you have to never accept anyone's negative energy if you're at a job right now and the energy is absolutely negative i don't understand why you ain't putting in applications or trying to figure out how to transition into your own thing and be your own boss i don't understand why you're not doing that you should be no amount of money is worth your peace of mind. You have to learn to value your peace of mind above everything. You should value your peace of mind above everything. It is your job to protect yourself. Who you think? Man, you think you're just going to be out here living any way you want to live? You think God going to protect you? I mean, God is not going to protect you from yourself. You protect you from yourself and then God will help you with the rest. But you got to stand in front of yourself and say, hey, look, man, you can't do that. That ain't good for us. You're never alone. 
just because you don't have other people around you. You got your spirit man and your worldly man. Separate the two. Let them communicate. Let them interact. Guard yourself. Another thing is this. If you're going to have a woman around you, her energy must be positive. Her energy must be positive. If you want a woman that don't talk, then you need to get a woman that's mute. If you got to do that. If you want a woman that, that, that knows how to be quiet, that knows how to sit down and observe, that alone knows how to take instruction, why do you have a woman who doesn't know how to do these things? It's not your job to transform a woman into what she needs to be because if you have to transform her, then God hasn't worked on her yet. Anytime you have a woman in your life who isn't, who doesn't fit into your life, you're trying to fit her in there, man, God did not send that woman to you. That's not the woman that meant to be in your life. When you make all the adjustments to your own alpha energy, become the most alpha version of yourself, then you don't have to apply that pressure to a woman. You don't have to try to shape her into something. You don't have to apply that to your team, the people that are working with you. Those people are on the path that you're supposed to be on. If you're on your path in life, the people you come into contact with fit into your life. Now, they may not fit into your life the way that you think they should, but you got to fit them into the way that they fit and stop trying to push them past that point. If there's five levels in life and someone fits up to level four, stop trying to press them into level five. They only fit up to level four. You got to fit somebody else into there at level five. That's what you have to do. You have to understand you're not resigned to accepting what it is in your life if it doesn't fit, if it doesn't work. You don't have to make it work if it doesn't work. You can't make it work if it doesn't work. Another thing, anyone who brings out the worst in you it's the worst for you. I say again, anyone who brings out the worst in you, it's the worst for you. Do you understand if you're a man that's striving to see the face of the most high, that the only person who can bring the worst out of you is a person that's striving to see the face of Satan? Only an evil person can bring the worst out of you. Only an evil person can disturb your peace. Only an evil person can rob you of your peace of mind. Only an evil person can change the way things are happening in your life, can change your trajectory by letting that evil energy into your life. So you have to ask yourself, why is it that every time that person is around, you find yourself lashing out? Why is it every time that person is around, you want to cuss them out? Why is every time that person is around, boy, you wish they just go somewhere? Why is every time that person is around, man, your whole your whole mentality, your whole outlook on everything changes? It's because from the moment that person opens their mouth, from the moment that person steps a foot inside your residence, from the moment that person says anything to you, their energy is immediately detrimental to the environment. So you have to govern that. You have to govern that. You got to learn to put people on permanent ice. Permanent ice. Why? Because it's your job to protect your peace of mind. See, here's what you got to understand. When people offend you, they know they offended you. People know what offending someone is. There is no adult person who does something that offends you and they had no idea. Well, I didn't know. Well, I didn't know that was going to offend you. Well, what are you talking about? How was I supposed to know that was going to offend you? I didn't know that. I, that I, I talk like that to everybody. No, you don't. And if you do, then you're talking to a bunch of people who are not on my level. And that means that you don't need to be talking to me because you're not used to talking to someone on my level. Another thing I tell you guys, don't indulge in intoxication. Don't become intoxicated. Don't become inebriated. You're not yourself. You find me a man who's inebriated or who's, who's intoxicated. That man is not himself. He's under the control of evil energies. You can become intoxicated and do some things the night before and don't even remember them. Just somebody remind you. You can become intoxicated and wake up in a jail cell and don't even know how you got there. All you know, last thing you remember, you were partying. You were, you were standing on the table. You know, was up on the bar at the club uh, with this girl. Next thing you know, you in jail. You don't even know what you're charged with. Anytime something can take you so far out of your reality that your spirit man can't govern you, do you know how low you must go for your spirit man to not be even able to govern you? You must fall into the abyss of wickedness and evil for your spirit, man, to not be able to govern you anymore. We work as hard as we can to be in a position where we are connected with our spirit, man. And you put yourself in a position where your spirit, man, just and let me tell you what happens. Your spirit, man, just falls away from you. You become so toxic. You become so evil at that point. You become so ungodly at that point that your spirit man foregoes you. He forsakes you unless you just go somewhere. And then you find out that all that time you were intoxicated, you didn't even know where you were. Why? 
because your spirit man is your guide. You must protect your guide. How are you not going to protect your guy? How are you and the people on the ship going to do away with the captain, make him walk the plank, and none of y'all know how to steer the ship? The only man who knows how to steer the ship, y'all just made him walk the plank. Y'all looking over there right now, man, them great whites over there having a feast with him. Why? Because you are not governed by your spirit, man. You have to be governed by your spirit, man. You have to allow your spirit, man, to take control. You have to forget what the world is saying. You have to get, forget what people say when they say, oh, you believe in the mystery man in the sky. Oh, oh well, man, th those old antiquated outlooks and man, man, that thing's been tampered with. But what that, that Bible's been tampered with. They did a whole bunch of things to it. Boy, every book you ever read probably been tampered with. Some of the books you read, the author's still alive. And but you trust that, don't you? You see what I'm saying? You can't allow society outside of you to indicate to you that your spirit man is not important, that your spirit man is irrelevant, that your spirit man is not necessary for you to become who you need to become. See, when you take away the financial benefit of any anything, because you could do wickedness and get money, you can be righteous and get money. When you take away money, then you start to see that all of the other benefits of being a godly man, you can't get them if you're not, if you're an ungodly man. You can't get them. You simply can't get them. See, here's the thing. We're all going to be under attack sometime. But if you're always in the mix, that means that you've allowed your vibration to drop too low. You have a low vibration. When you look at a group of chimps, and I want y'all to look up this documentary where these group of chimps, it was a chimp that was just among them and they just jumped him. And there was another one. He came in, man. He was a stranger. He would just come in, man. They jumped him. They rat packed him. And let me tell you what happens at the whole point. You can hear them. They go from being these smart, communicative, communicative, communicative animals to being low vibrational. They just turn into savages and they just they just go ham. All you hear is a bunch of shrieking and, 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 and yelling and, 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 and violence and, and, and thrashing about. They become low vibrational. And then after that, everything comes down again and they start grooming each other again. And, and then they start like using sticks to pull slugs out of, out of logs and all of that. They go right back into the vibrational space. Why? Because in their life, in those animals lives, they need to step away from their instinct and just go ham. Like they need to just become wild animals. But see, we're men. We can't afford to become wild animals. We can't afford to forego our instinct. Your instinct, your spirit, man, your gut, all the same. We can't afford to forego that because us becoming savages then takes us away from being the most intelligent beast, right? So you have to stay away from things that convince you or coerce you or influence you to believe that you could do away with your spirit, man, that you could just fall back and go savage, that you could just be out here wilding out, that you don't need to govern yourself. See, here's the thing. Either you're going to govern yourself or the world at large will govern you. And I promise you, if you govern yourself, you got a much better chance of coming out with a clean slate and just having a lesson that you learn than if life itself decides to govern you. I'll tell y'all like this as well, man. Have a form of therapy. Have a form of therapy. Whether it's boasting, whether it's, listen, man, whatever it is, whether it's traveling, whether it's, I don't care what it is. When y'all hear music from me, man, it's just therapy. I create music for therapy. Something going on, man, I go in the booth, man, and I talk about it. Whether it's good or bad. Sometimes it's good to remind yourself of how good your life is. So when I say, my money long, my temper short, my money long, my temper short, I know that. I don't deal with a lot of people. For those two reasons, my money long, my temper short. So I say these things as therapy to myself to remind myself of the blessings I receive, to remind myself of the obstacles I've overcome, and also to remind myself when I'm in a situation that I shouldn't be in. I'm not perfect. It's still a fight for me, too. I still got to fight every day for, to protect my spirit, man. I'm not sitting here telling you I am King Ray Ray on high, looking down upon you mere mortals and telling you that to get where I am, you must be who I am. No, I'm not telling you that, man. It's a struggle for me every day. 
You know how many bad young boppers man jump in my DM? You know how many bad young boppers man just email me, man? You know how bad young boppers man book consultations only to find out, man, they book the consultation, man, just so they can have a way to contact me or think they have a way to contact me permanently? Man, you got to keep in mind, man, it comes from every way because you're always going to be under attack. Your spirit is always going to have to be out there ready to go. You put your spirit man in front of you and you tell him, man, I got your back. You represent me well, I promise you I got your back. Man, let me tell you something. And this is real talk. My worldly man will catch a case, catch some mace, or catch some shells behind my spirit man. I will risk my worldly man, my human fleshly man. I will risk him, his life, his well-being, his freedom. I will risk everything that he has in order to protect my spirit. And that is the mindset you must have. That is the mindset you must have. Because the bottom line is, you have to protect yourself by valuing yourself. You have to look at yourself and say, I'm the most valuable asset I have. And so you got to protect it like that. You wouldn't just let any old woman come into your house, man, if you got a bunch of diamonds sitting on the table, would you? No. What if you had a million dollars cash on the table? Would you just meet a woman and let her come in? No. Would you be hanging out with a bunch of people if you suddenly hit the lottery for 100 million? No. But you put money and you put valuable things, material things, you put them before your own spirit man. Your spirit man is more valuable than any of that. So why aren't you protecting it like you would protect your 100 million dollars? Why aren't you protecting it like you would protect your your billion dollars in diamonds? Why aren't you protecting it? Man, you know you protect your your, your you protect your your social security number more than you protect your spirit man out here. You more concerned with your credit score than you are with your spirit man. You're doing everything in your power to protect everything in this world, but you're looking at your spirit, man, like he don't even matter. And then you wonder why things go the way they go. You wonder why you end up dealing with the things that you're dealing with. You wonder why you end up facing these obstacles that you don't even know where they came from. You wonder why you end up dealing with people only to have these people turn around and stab you in the back. You don't wonder why you're dealing with these people and you show them never love, then they turn around and show you never hate. You wonder why you're dealing with these people who used to be down, now they're not down no more. They used to be your friends, now they're enemies. They, you, they used to be your homies, now they're clonies. You got to remember that you are forsaking your responsibility to protect your spirit man that is your job you must do that i'm not gonna protect your spirit man I, i'm too busy protecting my own you gotta protect your spirit man it's on you homie another thing is this man always have a safe space preferably your own residence Make that your safe space. Man, don't worry about us. Man, you, man, we don't never have no women over there. Oh, where the women at? Why you don't have? Boy, what, what you doing over there? You ain't having no part over there? What you, what's going on? Boy, you ain't got no... Man, there's a difference between a spiritually astute man and everyone else. I'm not saying that spiritually astute man is better because we don't care who's better or worse. We don't deal in terms of better or worse. We deal in terms of Right. And if you're a spiritually astute man, there's just not going to be a lot of people that you congregate with. Listen, guys can, you know, even when a man, when I'm in Miami, bro, I don't go to no club. I don't club. What am a club for if I don't drink? Why would I be the only sober fool in the club, man? If you're a sober fool in the club, you crazy. I'm not finna go in there. The environment is conducive to being intoxicated, inebriated, and being free to do whatever you want to do. You can't have a regimented life and be in an unregimented environment. Unless you accept the fact that during that period of time, your life is going to be unregimented. I don't have time to have any aspect of my life being unregimented because there is never any benefit to any space in your life that is unregimented. There is never a benefit. No man on this planet can tell me he got a benefit from a time period where he had an unregimented life. Even if you're trying to get in shape, you cannot get in shape if you don't have a regimented life. You cannot build a business if you don't have a regimented life. You cannot manage, gain control of your finances in, 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 if you don't have a regimented life. I got an entirely new concept of manhood and masculinity that I'm about to bring forth, man, and it's going to be phenomenal. It is going it to take the world by storm. It's so cold, I'm not even going to mention it, but it is a phenomenal concept, and it is something that every man should strive for because it represents excellence. It represents excellence. 
you have to know what's important. Health is wealth, right? So why are men more concerned about having big muscles than they are concerned about taking care of their skin, taking care of their orals? You ever seen somebody, man, with an amazing physique, man, look like they ain't never cared for their teeth at all? Ain't never did nothing for their mouth? You ever seen somebody, man, who has an amazing physique, man, but look like they got, look like they got potholes in their face? Your skin is the greatest indicator of your health. If you got terrible skin, homie, let me tell you something. If you have terrible skin, then you are not in great health. Anybody can manipulate the body fat on their body and shed it off by manipulating your, your, your macronutrients. You, you, could, you, you could do that. I'm not saying anybody can. You got to have the willpower still. But what I'm saying, you can do that. There's a method to that. That don't mean you're going to be healthy. But that's one of those things where if you're influenced by the world, you forget about your spirit, man. You forget about what health is. You forget about how health really feels. You forget about a bunch of things because you're too busy worrying about impressing the world when the only person you got to impress is yourself. How do you impress yourself? By protecting your spirit, man. By having peace of mind. By being at ease, man. Man, your life should be at ease. Right now, brothers, I'm at ease. You know why I'm at ease, man? Because I work real hard protecting my spirit, man. Man, listen, bro, I've had to cut some Otherwise, amazing women loose, man. I to, listen, women that you would marry. If you were a marrying man, I have custom women loose that you would marry in a drop of a dime. Why? Because they don't fit into my life. They don't fit into my life. And that's a simple thing. It's called diffusing situations before they have a chance to escalate to the point where they can't be fixed. They can't be reined in. They can't be controlled. When you're out of control of the outcomes of things, you have to try to avoid that. When you're out of control of the outcome of things, then you're out of control of your response. You see what I'm saying? When you're going down a path, you can have an expectation of what your response is going to be because you're controlling what you can control. But if you can't control the, the outcome, because you've let the thing escalate to the point where it is absolutely out of control, then you're going to get a bad result in life if you do that, man. You're going to get a bad result in life. Keep yourself busy with self-protection. Keep yourself busy with self-prioritization. Keep yourself busy with self-pedestalization. Yeah, I made that word up, but I bet you know what it means. I bet when I say pedestalize yourself, pedestalization, I bet you know what it means. Okay, then. That's what I mean. But at the same time, what's the greatest thing that you can do for yourself? What's the greatest thing that you can do for yourself? Panasonic autofocus. They say it's terrible, but I'm going to be honest with you. Look at the image. To this day, I am telling you, man, I will not use Sony cameras anymore. They have phenomenal autofocus, but they make the whole scene look ugly. I don't want it. This is the G, this is GH6, Panasonic GH6, contrast detection autofocus. Put the finger up in my face, get the whole finger. Go ahead, give me cover my face. Get the whole finger. Uh oh. All right, we got a little, got a little warping that's going on back there. As long as you get the face, as long as you get the face, we good. So when you think about it, man, the problem is society tells you putting yourself first is selfish. And it is. But what's so negative about that? What's so negative about putting yourself first? What's so negative about putting yourself first? What is so negative about putting yourself first? Help me understand what's so negative about putting yourself first. They can't tell you what's so negative about it. Because the only negative thing is negative for them. You can't be controlled by anyone else's feelings, by anyone else's desires, by anyone else's wishes, by anyone else's anything. If you put yourself first, 
If you put yourself first, you're always going to look to yourself first. When I wake up in the morning, man, I think about myself first. I don't think about nobody else, man. You understand? Man, I'm to the point now, man, where I just cut my phone off because I wake up in the morning. I don't want to see no text from nobody. I don't want nobody else to be on my mind but myself for the first hour of my day. Me, my relationship with the Most High, that's it for the first hour of my day. I don't want to think about that. Even if it's an emergency that happened overnight, I don't care. I ain't going to look at it until after I spend the first hour of my day preparing myself telling myself reminding myself that it's me against the world yes there are people that are going to benefit you in life but when it all boils down the guarantee that you have in life is that you're going to be there from birth to death that's the, the only guarantee in life is that you are going to be there from birth to death that's the only guarantee and if you can't accept that that's the only guarantee you're going to have in life, then you're going to forever make decisions based on what other people want, based on what other people think, based on what other people feel. And none of those decisions are ever going to benefit you. They're always going to benefit them. And then you know what you become? You become a man who gains such satisfaction simply from being a benefit to other people. You start to accept being a benefit to other people as being a benefit to you even when you're getting nothing in return. You become a man who's satisfied with other people just saying, you're so great. Oh, you're such a wonderful man. You're the most amazing man in the world. Oh my God, you are so great. And you know what happens? 10, 15, 20 years later, you realize that didn't do nothing for me. My bad about the train, man. Still on this same condenser mic, man. Waiting for my um, waiting for my roll pod mics to come in, man. We're gonna we got some phenomenal stuff, man. I got some. We're gonna upgrade the whole show, man. So I, I appreciate y'all support, man, and allowing us to do that, so we can kill some of this noise, man. Cause I like the space I'm in, man. It's just it's noisy. You know what I'm saying? Listen to that. Y'all just got to bear with me on that, man. There's a train coming. It's gonna probably blow about five more times, but we'll try to get through this. Cause I'm not gonna keep y'all in here too long anyway, man. I wanted to come in here and talk about this. Protect yourself. Laugh, man. Laugh. Enjoy life. Don't let guys tell you, man, what's wrong with you? You, you laugh. Man, that's why I don't deal with none of my... I mean, listen, and, and I don't deal with them because I just outgrew them. But, man, for, for me, man, dealing with my, my homies from the hood, man, they, they, them guys don't even like to laugh, man. Them guys... They, They can't even laugh. Me? Man, I love to laugh. When you see me watching TV, man, you know what I'm watching? You know what I'm watching? Some comedy. Something that's going to make me laugh. Bro, I don't watch no foolishness. I don't let my eyes feast on the evil of, of bloodshed and all of that, man, right there. Because here's the thing. It's Hollywood tricks. That stuff will attach itself to your emotion, to your spirit, to the true essence of who you are, to your mental It'll attach itself to you. Think about when you were a kid and you were afraid to watch a horror movie. Dog, it was a movie. But the evil energy of it attacked your young spirit and it made you afraid. You knew it was evil. As a kid, you weren't afraid of horror movies. You were afraid of the evil it represented. Then you become an adult. <laughs> I can take that now. Your goal is to be, oh, I can deal with that. Your goal is to be able to exist in an evil environment. That's the goal that you're that's set up for you when you're young. I can exist in this evil environment. I'm not afraid of that stuff anymore. No, you're not afraid of it because you have become it. It becomes normal to you. A wise man keep it his eyes from seeing evil and keep it his ears from hearing the bloodshed. Why I don't watch the news? They're always going to tell me about some bloodshed. Always going to tell me about some crime. Always going to tell me about the worst possible thing that happened in the world. The news is on for an hour. They're going to spend 45 minutes telling you the most terrible thing in the world, give you 10 minutes of commercials, and then they're going to give you five minutes of something positive. Why would I indulge in that? Why would I allow myself? Man, y'all give me a quick second, man. I thought I'd turn my ring off. Give me a quick second.
all right, that's my barber right there, man. So, yeah, you know, he, he didn't hit me up, man. We kind of kind of running behind a little bit. So, you know, and I'll tell y'all like this, man, before we slide out of here, man. I don't frequent environments where illogical people frequent. So you're not going to see me anywhere, even on this platform, you're not going to see me anywhere hanging around a bunch of women. You're not going to see me anywhere, you know, in, in some type of place. You're just not going to see me in that place because I'm not going to go to a place where everybody's illogical. You're not going to see me going to any place. That's why I, you don't see me nowhere. Like you see me here. If you want to see me, you got to see me in the kingdom or you got to see me in the alpha sphere. That's where you're going to see me at. You ain't going to see me nowhere else. You know what I'm saying? Now, coming up in the near future, you're going to see me in a couple of places. But when in reality, like you're not going to see me many other places. I mean, you saw me on the six for a season, but you're just not going to see me many other places, man. For me, like there is no benefit. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can make my own way. I can, I can blaze my own path. I can get my own money. So I don't need to link up with anyone who's going to be having no negative energy or do no collaboration with anybody who got no negative energy or who's illogical or who's on something that I'm not on. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no amount of money out there that's going to make me go against my spirit man. I'm not going against my spirit man. I got to protect him. Because here's the thing. That fool been protecting me for a long time. Who you think were telling me, hey, man, don't go left, go right. God talks to your spirit man, not to your worldly man. Who you think were protecting you all those time? You knew it was time to get out of that relationship before it went bad. Who you think were protecting you that time when that woman got pregnant? You knew you need to take a paternity test. You ain't have no evidence she did then, but some told you to take a paternity test. Who you think protected you that time, man, when you finna get ready to go out with those guys, then they end up going to prison? Who you think protected you that time, man, when you about to drink that drink, man, they didn't know they had spiked it? Who you think protected you? Man, that times your spirit, man, protected you, and you ain't even know you were being protected. I promise you that. So what do you do now as a grown man, as a man who understands what he needs to do? You return the favor and protect your spirit, man, man. That's how you handle that. These are the things that we must do as men. The reality of the scenario is this, man. I laugh as often as possible. I avoid relationship drama. I stay busy, but I'm stressed by mediating triggers of stress. And, you know, I pedestalize, prioritize, and idolize myself. And I relax. And you know how I relax? I fish. Fishing is the most relaxing activity that I have available to me. And I do it a lot. As a matter of fact, when I leave the barbershop, I'm about to go do it today. So, man, I appreciate y'all coming through for this early morning blast off. You know what? We're going to do this more often. We're going to come in and we're going to do this early morning blast off more often, man. I see you men are up, being alpha, going out here, building your life early this time of morning, man. This is what we're going to start doing. So let's move the King Ray Ray movement around, man, because this is a perfect time for me. I can get up and do this before I go into the rest of my day. And because believe it or not, my analytics say that I should do my King Ray Ray show and BOA show at the same time, which we know is impossible. So I had to figure out how to start fitting the King Ray Ray show in so we can do at least three episodes a week. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a hard goal that I've set is to do at least three episodes a week on this channel. And they may not always be as long as the BOA channel. They may they may you know be around 30 45 minutes that, that's what that's what that's what i'm shooting for 30 45 minutes three times a week at least and we'll go from there but this is the time i like this time you guys like this time you guys can be in here at this time and we're up early you know what i'm saying man let me tell you something i'm like i'm like a man in the marines man i do more before 9 a.m than more people do all day it's 9 a.m now you understand what i'm saying and we have been in here congregating in the kingdom already listen man i appreciate y'all brothers sj3 appreciate your brother famo i appreciate your brother salute to the kingdom of ray man all y'all brothers man if y'all want to be a part of the live chat moving forward go ahead go to the main channel page next to the subscribe button there's a join button click that join button go become a member and we'll move forward with that and that's why i haven't created a a, a patreon for this channel because i haven't been dedicated enough to creating content for this channel and there was no way i was gonna have you men set up for a patreon that i don't provide any content to you understand what I'm saying? So now that we've taken on this new lead, man, we're going to do this. This is our new time for this show, and we'll move forward with that, man. Listen, I appreciate you, brothers. I appreciate it. I really do, man. Let's build this channel up, man. Like, this is the vibe that I – this is my vibe right here. 
you know we do our thing over there but this is my vibe right here so man let's let's jump on this one man let's push king ray man let's keep push king ray ray to a hundred thousand sub by the end of the year man we got nine months we're not eight and a half months to push king ray ray to the to the hundred thousand subscribers let's go ahead and get a silver play button for the king ray ray channel brothers i appreciate the support and i appreciate and thank you man in advance for let's put heavy push this channel to 100k by the end of the year man let's get there so brothers y'all enjoy yourself the rest of the day man and remember protect your spirit man that's the least you can do for all the protection he's given you up to this point peace